So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw. Now, before we talk about the next match of the night, we got to talk about a segment that happened backstage. So, yeah, we see Jackie Redman interviewing Chad Gable with Otis, a character's eye Maxine Dupree, Alpha Academy. And she was going to ask uh, Chad Gable with a question about Otis helping him out, out there against Sami Zayn. But while she was asking that question, all of a sudden they hear yelling and stuff in the back. Uh, the cameraman starts following, and then we see... Cruz Del Toro apparently got attacked backstage, laid out, and we hear him say Carlito and all that stuff. So it looks like Carlito done attacked Cruz Del Toro, and the rest of the LWO is checking on him and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what happened there. But then we get to the next match of the night. It was Braun Breaker versus Kel Dixon one on one. Apparently, Kel Dixon's from NXT Level Up, and yeah, pretty much he got destroyed. Uh, so yeah, Breaker, when Bell rung Breaker, you can see him talking to himself, talking about why he in the King of the Ring tournament and all that stuff. He gets pissed off about it, and then he just runs and hits that spear onto Kel, just ending him. And yeah, instead of going for the pin, he picks him up and tosses him over the top rope outside of the floor. And then Breaker, he gets out of the ring, runs and hits another crazy ass spear onto Kel Dixon outside of the ring. He throws Dixon back into the ring. Referee's checking on him. Obviously, he just calls off the match because he's not able to compete. So yeah, Braun Breaker defeated Kel Dixon. But then after the match ended, the referee got Kel Dixon back up to his feet. And Braun Breaker's just hitting the ropes like crazy. And comes back with a third spear onto Kel Dixon, laying him out. Pretty much killing him. But if that wasn't enough, he tossed him out of the ring. Referees and stuff got him to stop everything. And he was trying to turn apart the uh, steel steps and all that stuff. But then at one point, Kel's head was on the steel steps. And then that's when Breaker grabs a steel chair. And just pretty much it's like a chair to own to him, really. Uh, just pretty much killing the man. So, yeah, rest in peace, Kel Dixon. Nah, but he's all right. But, uh, yeah, they brought out a stretcher and, yeah, took him out. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. Braun Breaker. Yeah. Um, and Adam Pierce is out there pretty much complaining to Braun Breaker about that. So, yeah, for that match and all that stuff, I'll give y'all one and a half stars. That's why I'll give that. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then.